Hi guys, if you are curious as to the results of my month-long lash tonic experiment, stay tuned. Hey, but before I tell you the results, if you are new to my channel, please, please go below and hit that subscribe button. I would truly appreciate it. And thumbs up the video and leave me a comment. Thank you all so much. About a month ago, Carol from the O'Carroll oh Show and I decided we had done a mascara collaboration where we talked about eyelashes. I talked about my eyelashes. She talked about all the different mascaras that she uses. It was an awesome collab. I'm going to link the video here. You might want to hop over and take a look at it and then come back and watch the rest of the video. But it was just really an amazing collab. So we decided we were going to both use Lash Tonic. She had bought it, I bought it, and we figured let's try it out and let's see how it works. At about that same time, I had finished up using my Care Pros, my beloved Care Pros, and I love my Care Pros, but it had finally finished up. And I was had always planned to give it a break after the, you know, after a while because everyone says you should, you know, if you're using something at work, sometimes giving it a break makes it work all the better. And while I was having awesome results with Care Prost, I thought, you know, mm, giving it a break would be a good idea. So Lash Tonic came along. I paid $20 for this off of Amazon. I will link it for you below. I decided to use it and so did Carol from the O Carol Show. So we both decided we would give it one month. The claims on this are pretty heavy. After two weeks, you're supposed to see a noticeable difference. Now, maybe I'm the wrong person because I already have good eyelashes. At least I think I have good eyelashes from my Care Prost. And uh, so maybe, you know, maybe someone else would have different results than I did. But we both thought we would give it a shot. And before I go any further and tell you my ultimate results, I'm going to insert the video I did of myself the day I started using Lash Tonic. So it's January 13th and I have fully completed using my Care Pros. I am doing sort of a comparison, not comparison on results, but comparison on how I feel about this particular product and how Carol from the O Carol Show feels about it. My skincare is done, my hair is just kind of thrown up and I applied my mascara. We both agreed we we're going to take before and after pictures and I'm going to use the mascara that I use the majority of the time. This is my superhero, IT Cosmetics. I used this one dip each eye. I have a primer, my L'Oreal primer I put on my lashes, so I don't have any other eye makeup on. I have no eyeliner, I have no nothing, and I'm going to come up close so you can hopefully see what my eyes look like. And hopefully you're not going to notice too much of my wrinkles. <laughs> But anyway, so the goal is that we're going to both use the Lash Tonic Serum. I'm not going to use Care Prost. I'm not going to use my castor oil. We're going to use the Lash Tonic Serum. I bought this off of Amazon, and I'm not too sure where Carol got hers, but I bought mine off of Amazon, and it is a, you can use it twice a day, and I'm not too sure how long it's going to last, and I will see how it compares to my Care Prost. I've been on Care Prost for a long time. I've been at maintenance. I do feel I've lost a little bit of the volume as I've gone on to maintenance, but my length is still there. I have to trim my eyelashes. <laughs> and my eyelashes, because of the castor oil, the home, uh, the do-it-yourself remedy thing, has been working really well. So I will insert this clip at one point in the future so you can see my feelings. Yeah, so after four weeks, both Carol and I using this daily, I use this twice a day. I did it the exact same way I would do my Care Prost. I would take my mascara off at night, all my eye makeup off at night. I would make sure that it was using a oil-free product because that was important for my Care Prost. So I used an oil-free product, removed all my makeup, my eye makeup, and let it dry, and then I would dip into this applicator, and it looks just like this. And I would very carefully, just like I was applying eyeliner, I would very carefully, in, in one dip did both eyes for me. 
you know, every now and then I would dip back in the second time, but I really felt I had a lot of product on the brush and, and more than enough. And then I would just go along the edge of my eyelash, just like I was applying eyelash, you know, eyeliner. And then I didn't do anything. I would let it sort of soak in. I wouldn't rub my eyes, I wouldn't put any kind of you know, cream on my eyes, nothing. Sometimes I would be, you know, just sitting and watching TV or resting my eyes, but I didn't do anything, no mascara, nothing. And I also did the exact same thing in the morning. In the morning, I would get up, I would put on, because I've been using the, um, you know, I've been, I've been doing something different with my face in the morning, so I would put on my exfoliating cream, let's put it that way, and... And at the same time I would do that, before I washed, before I did anything, I would take my lash tonic and I would do the application on my eyes again. And then I'd go in the living room, have my coffee, do whatever, and you know, I'd let this, because I get up fairly early, I'd be answering comments or doing whatever on my videos. Then I would get up and I would, uh, at the time, that I would wash off my exfoliating cream and do my regular serums, I would, my eyes would be nice and dry. It, you know, it would be totally nice and dry. And so from that point on, I would be doing my primer and my mascara and doing my normal routine. So that's how I applied it. I applied it, you know, twice a day, which I did not do with the Care Pros. Care Pros was only once a day. But I wanted to really see if I would have these amazing results. I mean, they said two weeks you would see noticeable difference. Two weeks, I didn't see a noticeable difference. But again, my disclaimer is my eyelashes are pretty good for me anyways. And maybe, you know, if I hadn't been using Care Pros, maybe if I had no eyelashes to begin with, maybe I would have noticed. And maybe Carol will have a bigger difference than me. But I did not see a dramatic, as they boast on their website, improvement in my eyelashes. I also didn't see a fallout or any negative impact. It was almost like it was maintaining my lashes, which in itself was a good thing. But... You know, like anything else, I, I still would like to have maybe more volume, maybe more thickness on my lashes. So for me, for $20, I am not going to continue on with this. I'm going to go on with a different product. I just didn't see in the four weeks that I've used it a, any kind of an improvement. Again, I didn't see anything negative, but I didn't see any kind of an improvement. So for me, it was a bust. But I am going to, about the same time that we were talking about doing this and we had done our mascara collab. I was um, contacted by a eyelash serum company. This is a this is called Blink, B-L-I-N-Q. They contacted me and they had been watching my videos and you know and they said would I be interested in perhaps trying their eyelash serum. It is identical to Care Pros, has the same ingredients and everything. And I said, hmm, you know, why not, right? Because once the lash tonic was done, I would either continue with that if I was seeing results or try something else. So they sent me this. I have five of these and I haven't tried them yet, but maybe by the time this goes public, I will. You'll see them. You'll see that I've used it. But I plan on using this instead of the lash tonic. And I'm hoping that this will give me more growth again. So my eyelashes have been stable. I've been pretty happy with them, but I haven't seen any growth as far as my thickness, the volume, and all that. The length is still good. I still have to trim them, but this, this was a disappointment in that sense. So that's the scoop on my eyelashes. I do want to tell you really quickly, many of you know that I have also been trying all sorts of different mascaras. A couple of them that were sent to me, the Grandy Lash was one mascara that was sent to me from the Octoly Network. I really like this. I think when I talked about this one, I talked about how it really gave me some nice curl. That was pretty awesome. And then I also was sent from the Octoly Network, the Kiko, and this was um, a really a nice mascara. Very thick application, which I like, but what I don't like was the brush. Uh-uh. So... This one dip could definitely do my eye, without a doubt. One dip. With the Grandy Lash, it was more like three. It would build up, but it would have a nice curl. And then I decided to try because everyone said, oh, you got to try the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar Fiber. And I thought this might be cool to try because I'm going on a trip and this is a two for one. You get your primer and you get your product. So I thought that might save some packing space like mascara is really going to take all that much from, right? 
the so anyways I bought it I tried it and uh, the really cool thing is the primer is black which I did like and the other side is the the mascara but it's supposed to be superstar it's supposed to be like you know whoa you know right right there I do like the applicator process that's really nice but I this did not build up as quickly as my as the Kiko does as quickly as the Essence does and as quickly as my superhero so out of all of these mascaras that I have been trying some that were sent to me, some that I bought. All of these mascaras that I've been trying, my number one is still my It Cosmetics Superhero. And the second, very, very close second, is my Essence in Purple, the Purple Essence. For the dollar amount, this is an awesome product. Both of these build up on my lashes really, really quick, and I'm really liking them. So I'm going to link Carol's channel below. Please hop on over, check her video out. I'll be really curious to see what her results are on the Lash Tonic for me. It was a bust, but it was an experiment worth trying. And now I'm going to be on to Blink. And we'll see how Blink works for me. <laughs> blink, Blink. <laughs> now I'm getting super, super silly. Bye, guys. <laughs>